Good morning. Good morning for those of you who are going to be tuning into this replay. I just wanted to wish you a beautiful day. Hello. If you're staying here for the morning coffee chat and coaching, you're welcome. Please say hello. Please introduce yourself if you're staying. I'm so honored that you're here. Hello. Hi, Melina. Hi, Zia. Zia, Daniela. Hi. Please let me know. So good to have you. I see that there's like badge beside your name. I don't know what that means. Does that mean like the amount of time you showed up on the live? Good morning. Happy Friday. Hello from Australia. Thank you. And thank you for those who are tapping the screen. That is so kind of you. I'm not even saying anything and you're coming in and you're just grab your coffee, grab your tea, grab your water, grab anything that will hydrate you. Hello, Natasha. 444 I like that number <laughs> from Toronto hi I'm from what I live in Waterloo we're like practically neighbors hi neighbor hello welcome thank you for being here happy happy Friday it is Friday happy gorgeous Friday morning hello mini hi nice to have you thank you for being here thank you for tuning in I'm so honored if if anyone is here right now because you've just like recently just followed me please let me know please drop it like if you just if you just found me um, uh, in the past week and you're like oh I would like to tune into her live please let me know hello Christy I'm feeling too overwhelmed these days okay you know what I get you and that is that is that is perfectly you are not alone <laughs> you are not alone I had a moment this morning where I had a bit of overwhelm it's, it's not you're not the only one it happens and I'm hopefully I can help you bring that overwhelm a bit uh, down hello you found found me in the past few week awesome and thank you for being here thank you for being in a life thank you for liking it um, do I teach classes well that's funny I do have courses uh, I I'm actually there is, I'm uh, what kind of class what are you tell me what are you I don't have a pen and a paper so hopefully I'm gonna have to use my mind what is it I you are wanting to learn what are you wanting to learn? What is something in your life that if, if you could change and transform and heal that, what is something that you would that would change everything for you? Just share with me. Share with me. And yes, there are classes coming. I do have a group coaching launching next week. And there's going to be like classes. I'm being called to do like group classes like drop-in where you pay for one class. I'm, I'm thinking... Uh, to do that. I, there's a lot of tools that I know. There's a lot of things and I meant to do that and help a whole bunch of people really step into their power and like literally heal and move forward. Practically take everything from my life and what I've learned and what I've put into practice and to help people move forward. So thank you for being here. Thank you. So let me know. So if, there, if I can support you. So Christy says I've been feeling too overwhelmed these days. So if you will, would you like me to coach you uh, Christy, would you like me to coach you right now? And if you do, just let me know. Yes, please. Just comment. Yes, please. And if you're like, if you're open for coaching, I don't coach people that don't want to be coached, obviously, or I don't do healing on people that don't consent to healing. I, you're a sovereign being. You are your own sovereign being, and I trust. I trust that. And if you're just finding me for the first time and you just want to hang, because the vibe is good, because you're enjoying. Oh, can you see the little pond there? I don't know if you can hear, but it's so nice. Yes, please. Okay. Mama Sita says, stepping into my healing power. Beautiful. And good morning, Tiffy. Hello. You're so welcome. I'm sending you so much love. All of you and especially to you, Tiffy. Especially to you. Sending you so much love. Okay. So for those of you who are might be feeling a bit of overwhelmed, please drop drop an emoji. Whatever emoji. Drop an emoji. If you're feeling as some sort of overwhelm or it could be anything. It could also be anxiety, stress. If you're feeling some sort of like an ener energy that you're not necessarily so happy with right now, just drop an emoji in the comment just so that I know how many people. And I'm just going to move through a process. So Chris, so Kirsty, if I said it properly, perfect. So Tiffy says yes. Yeah, okay, there's the emoji. That's okay. It's okay. Reminder, reminder. Good morning, Karen. Good morning to have you. Nice to have you. Hello, Sarah. Thank you for sharing your heart. Thank you for sharing that you are moving through overall. Perfect. So number one, just know that you are not alone, that other people, and oftentimes the mind gets overwhelmed because it's, it's, it's the mind. If the only reason why we are in overwhelm is because we are definitely not in the present moment because the mind 
that gets overwhelmed is because it's activated for something in the future. Because if we are really coming back into the present moment, the mind gets to calm down. And if we're like in a state of depression, which is okay, I've been there before. Sometimes I have depressed moments. That's okay. It means that there's a part of you that's holding on to something of the past. So the 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 goal, the goal, right? It, there's nothing to be perfect. Is to really help allow yourself to process whatever it is that you are feeling. So it's not about bypassing your feeling. It's not about pretending. It's about it's about it's about being. So so Mama Sita says I felt it yesterday. So heavy. Things are feeling more like perfect. So this is my, my recipe for transformation that I have learned that it works like magic, like magic, is however you're feeling right now, however you're feeling right now, can you breathe into that space in your body where you're feeling the anxiety, where you're feeling the stress, where you're feeling the overwhelm, and can you allow yourself the space to just feel it without judgment? And breathing into it love and acceptance to the part of you that is feeling these feelings so it's like it's like you're literally taking a pause on whatever is activating and you're like okay here and you can even hold yourself you can even hold yourself hello beautiful soul and literally breathe I want you to try it I'm actually inviting those of you who are moving through kind of like heavy feelings right now to just breathe power of the breath your breath is powerful. You are powerful. We're not trying to get rid of whatever it is happening inside you right now. All of it is actually divine. All of it is happening for you. I promise you that. And you get to learn how to step into your mastery, how to remember your power. You get to learn to do that. And when you do, you're moving through things and you're not attaching a reason. Oftentimes, when we're feeling overwhelmed, I used to feel overwhelmed and then this is me I used to be like why do I feel so overwhelmed I shouldn't feel overwhelmed and I'm so sad and why am I feeling like that and I'm so mad and I shouldn't be like that anybody relate to those one does anyone re relate to that that's so true everything that's happening is divine exactly every emotions are part of the beautiful rainbow so, you know, joy, sad, joy, uh, expansion, uh, enthusiasm, happiness is just as valuable as sadness and grief and overwhelm and anger and resentment. They are part of your package, my love. It is the package deal. The package deal has it all. But this society, we were thought, we bought into the programming that it is not okay for us to feel anything that is not of a high vibration that somehow it's going to affect our manifestation that somehow it makes us weak that somehow we're going to get stuck if we allow ourselves to feel that but that could not be further from the truth yes this technique is good good are you feeling it who, who else is who's feeling better right now just by breathing love and acceptance to all of it yes and yes breathing love and acceptance and if there's a thought that's coming that's trying to judge just notice it and then breathe love into that literally you are literally just like breathing into acceptance and guess what the first step into transformation is awareness first but the second one is acceptance what you accept you are freed from what you resist persist that is the law i don't make it that is the law. That is life. Not One is not better than the other. You get to choose. You get to choose. You get to choose. You get to choose. When you don't know, you don't know. But when you know, my love, you can make a change into your life. I love that. Yes. Yes. Hello, the whole hustler. I, nice to see you, Jonathan. Thank you for being here. I feel accepted. There you go. The awareness. Yes, exactly. First awareness hmm, what am i feeling what am i feeling what am i feeling be aware what am i feeling what am i feeling hmm is it mine because sometimes a lot of you are empaths we're picking up dust bunnies from everyone around from people across the street from people at the mall from people around us we're picking emotions they're, they're not all yours right they're not all your same as your thoughts same as your thoughts some of yours some are not yours so it's important to understand that you are not your emotions you're not your thoughts you're not either or you're just right you're just allowing whatever's processing 
This technique make you feel free and embracing yourself already feel different. That's it, bingo! Because guess what? You are a sovereign free being. There is nothing and no one that has power over you. And I am here, I am devoting my life to help people connect back to their power. I am devoting my life. It took me decades to learn to accept myself, to love myself, to understand my value, to see my worth, to recognize my worth, to... It took me forever to get there. And I have learned so many things along the way. And I have learned some powerful, powerful tools and technique that is helping my clients that I work with move mountains in like radically short amount of time so i'm committed i'm committed to bring free content here i'm committed to bring free content on youtube and on instagram i'm at inspire me emily My, i'm committed to come and serve and i'm committed to work with those who are ready to work with me they're ready to invest in themselves they're ready to move forward i i it, there's nothing that brings me more joy than doing what i'm doing right now and that's my dream if i could do if i could do if i could do whatever i want and just like if money was never an issue if money was never an issue and there was more than enough then that's what i would do i would come here and have my cup in the morning like i'm doing this is what i'm doing right now by the way i'm embodying my higher self i'm embodying this version of me that i'm so so ready and i'm sharing that because i want to share that i want to demonstrate what it's like i am demonstrating what it's like to embody this highest version of you because that version of you already exists she exists he exists it exists however they she how doesn't matter that version of you exists and you get to remember that and you get to embody that version of you i felt like i wanted to share that um let me just go in by you're doing great and you are doing great too my friend high five everybody if you are proud of yourself i want you to give me a high five come on i know it's cheesy bring a hand high five if you're proud of yourself or anything find something what are you proud what are you proud what are you proud you got up today high five you didn't give up yesterday you wanted to give up the day before high five high five high five come on bring it up bring it up that's it cheer yourself up if you're feeling sad and disappointed yesterday i went on a bike and I felt so disappointed. I felt so, so disappointed. I felt so sad about something, which I will share shortly. And, uh, and even though I was trying, I was so, and at the same time that I felt so disappointed and embarrassed about something, I was equally so happy and proud. But here's the thing. I, I, I was trying for a moment not to allow my disappointment and my embarrassment because I, 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 I thought it's okay, it's okay, I'm good. But no, that, that I, I was true to myself and I was like, no, Emily, you're helping your client move through all, then you're moving through all. You are in this moment equally proud and equally embarrassed. So you're gonna feel it. And I went and I cried and I walked my dog and I cried and I held space for myself into what that meant and i was very gentle to not allow what that meant like i'm so embarrassed oh my god like i was very mindful about the thoughts that came and when they came and they wanted to try to tell me something that wasn't serving me i said it's okay it's all right i don't believe that but i'm allowed to feel that and it's okay and i love you and i'm proud of you Emily. and it's okay healing is feeling my love healing is feeling and there's someone there's someone on tiktok which i have to make a video reply who said oh wow how 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 you are so happy i'm like oh shit no 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 no, no. i'm not always happy i move through the rainbow pretty much every day i move through the rainbow of emotion i i'm a highly sensitive person i don't know if you can relate you can put an emoji of sensitivity or you can put a heart in the comment if you're sensitive i cry almost every day every other day i have release i have i am a highly sensitive being i get hurt easily there's a lot of things that affects me and i move through but i move through things very fast i am not always happy i i i have anger that comes to at me i feel anger i feel frustration i feel it all i'm no different but I have stepped into a level of mastery that is allowing me now to really move through with ease and grace and compassion and self-love and acceptance. And this is the key. And that is what I'm passionate about teaching. That's why we're here, love. 
Healing is freeing. Yes, I love you too. You are responsible for your feeling, yes, but your feelings are not you. So don't attach, don't attach to a feeling. You're not depression, you're not anxiety, you're not sadness, you're not grief, you're not overwhelmed, you're not, you're not, you're mo they're feeling them, but you're not them. So just feel them, embrace them like a child, and then release them because they're not you and you're not them. You are so much more than that. You're a powerful divine being of light. It's who you are, it's who you are. Remember, wake up, let's go. Wake up. Let's go. I'm way more sensitive since I've become... Yes, you are, Mama Sita. Yes, you're more, you're more sensitive because you've opened up your channel. You've opened up your channel. <laughs> this is so fun. Yes. You can heal it. You can't heal it if you don't feel it. That's right. You got to feel it to heal it. That's right. And when you feel it, huh, you feel it, it takes about 90 seconds for an emotions. 90 nine zero for an emotion that is not processed to come up to the surface that's why if you really practice breathing into it and you allow it to come out and you give it a voice right i have so many tools that i can teach people how to do that and you don't attach to and to what it means you can move you can move through healing in a very short amount of time like it doesn't have to take months it doesn't have to take decades i'm helping people move through trauma in like a session like like i'm i need you to know that whether it's with me or alone or yourself or someone else you need to know that this that this is available and and it's available for everybody for everybody by the way in case I, in case you're leaving i created i channeled a meditation yesterday and when I say I channel, it's because I literally hit record and I just, it came at me. That's what I call channel. I didn't make it up. I didn't write it down. It just comes. So I call it a channel because it does, it comes through me. I created it and it's a, it's a powerful healing meditation to heal yourself, mind, body, and spirits. It's on YouTube and it's there at Inspire Me, Emily. And uh, I, I listened to it this morning because I hadn't listened to it since I recorded it, right? And then it was edited. And I'm so freaking proud of myself. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. So if you're like, if you're wanting to heal either your mind, body, and soul, if there's any part of you that you would like to heal, I really encourage you to listen to this powerful guided meditation. It's 12 minutes. It's on YouTube and it's free. And if you like it, if you do like it, please like it. Please comment. Please share it. My intention is to grow my channel. Right now I'm at 844 beautiful sub people that are following me i'm so grateful if you're not following me there yet and you enjoy my energy and you find value in me thank you for helping me live out my mission thank you for following me thank you for sharing with a couple of friends that are into this vibration that could uh, you have no idea how this would help me continue to serve my purpose so in a way we are all connected truly you can potentially help me continue to do what I'm doing. So if, if my message at any point has ever helped me, I want to invite you and I'm asking from, from an energy of love, if something I've ever helped you with really has, thank you for paying that forward. And how you can do that is literally share me with a person that you care about. And if like a hundred people did that, that would be 200 people that would get to, to have access to my free content and choose to work with me. Those who are ready to pay to work with me, that's fine. But I'm committed to continue to do free content always. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. You know, there's like people that that's what they do. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. That's what I want to do. I'm so honored. I'm so, so grateful. So grateful to be here. I'm so proud of myself. I'm so proud of you for showing up on this on this life on this on this this call right now and for showing up and for not giving up on yourself i'm so proud of you lovely from wales hello Gigi. so good to have you i'm so thank you i'm glad and thank you for sharing your gratitude thank you that all that is also part of the ascension is to understand the power of gratitude and to really and to and to truly practice um, I'm being more conscious into practicing gratitude like when I watch videos on YouTube from other content creators I make an effort now because I am there to like and comment and share my gratitude I, I'm trying my best to embody this highest version of me like okay so if I am like what is it that I would like well then I might as well create and be that version for other people right do I want more of in this world then go ahead and create that myself, show up myself, embody that myself first and foremost. Give it out knowing that whatever you give always comes back to you 
tenfold, 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 without any attachment to how it's coming. It doesn't matter. The universe works in magic. The universe works in magic, magic, magic. Thanking our guides. Absolutely, absolutely. So let me know if there's anybody else that has anything that would like to receive support. Any other, anyone else would like to receive coaching. And for the person who felt overwhelmed earlier, I know you're there, but I can't see your name right now. Are you feeling better after you've practiced breathing into this overwhelm? Are you feeling a sense of a release and a lightness? Thank you for all the likes. I feel lighter. Yes. Now my last step, Christy. Love it. What is your aligned action? What is it that you feel called to do or not to do? That I want you to tune inside your heart and hear your heart and soul. What is it? What is your aligned action to help you to continue to embody that which you just learned right now in this life? What is it that you are committing to do in the next 48 to 24 hours? That will anchor this learning this is the difference in coaching we are taking what we learn we're applying and we move into an aligned action sometimes i say do or not to do because someone who is actively doing things one aligned action that's for me could be doing nothing and sitting in the discomfort of not doing because i used to be addicted to the more i do the better i am the more i do the more i get the clap the more i do i get approval the more i do i'm worthy so if i didn't do anything and i sat i was my body was dysregulated and the, deep, the deepest discomfort you can't possibly imagine which is why i'm guiding you to connect to your own inner wisdom of what is the aligned step for you uh, it, to take time to do something for myself to move my body. I love it. Ah, when are you going to do that? What are you committing? Now, that's the next level of coaching. Chrissy, what are you going to do to move your body? When are you going to do it? And are you committing to it? That is your neck. That is the key. You anchor it right there. You're like, okay, this is it. You go from like, okay, if, if I'm thinking to knowing it to like setting up and to embody and doing it. A walk run when I'm walk at 12. Good. Now you have a clear plan of action. So you're committing. So I want you to write, I'm committing. I'm committing to go for a walk run. And I want you to be very gentle on yourself. I don't want you to do anything that doesn't feel aligned. So if you're like, eh, I don't feel like walk, like running, then walk. If you can walk, if you if your legs are walking, your body is capable capable I want you to do that I don't want you to push you to do anything that is not in alignment with what your soul wants so often our egoic mind wants us to do things but your soul your heart knows your highest path for your highest timeline in the path of the least resistance perfect hello Matilda Rainbow I'm committing to go for a walk around at noon today perfect you got it and then and then when you finished I want you to celebrate yourself in whatever way that is nourishing for you if it's to give yourself a high clap a hug and and to look at yourself and mirror say i'm so proud of you I'm so proud of you baby you did it i'm so proud of you and then you do it again and then you do it again you start very small when you when, when it's overwhelming to take a step you start small but then you move forward after but sometimes it's hard to move i 100 percent get it i 100 percent there is sometimes it's hard to move your body especially if you are in well if your physical body has limitation capacity yes in that case in that case stay seated move your body like that try to see if you can move your body if you're if you literally cannot get up try to see if you can put on like a movement and just commit to doing a little bit of a movement literally put some music and commit if you cannot move but if, you, if your body can move and it's hard for you to move because i've been there before especially when i was in a depressive state that is hard and that's why you've got to just it, it's like you gotta just you know like mel robbins she has this five four three two one i love it she counts for five like let's say you're lying down you're like i, I want to go for a while but i really can't i want to you count you, you count you count five five four five four three two one boom and after one you gotta get up it's like it's like it's like you're tricking your brain into something and it, and it does work so try that that's it at least for me sometimes mm -hmm. yeah you're not the only one and you're not the only one and uh it's funny because i have a tiktok i'm gonna post about that you're not the only one but here's the funny thing 
the when you are in a depressive state the last thing you want to do is to go out for a walk right that's the last thing but the best thing you could do is exactly that so it's like if you can just bring this awareness and just five four three two one and push out no one ever came back from a walk feeling worse I don't believe I, I mean it's possible I'm not gonna say but like 98% of the time if you go for a walk and you take a, t a moment to do some like like mindfulness right you go for a walk and you're like setting it and then make sure you set an intention I'm going on a walk and I'm setting an intention to release to release anything that's not serving you serving me letting go of how it happens letting go of the attachment letting go of how i need to feel when i come back letting go of thinking that i have to feel better letting go i'm just gonna commit to loving myself and in this moment i'm gonna commit myself to go for a walk and just to welcome goodness and to release anything that's not serving me for my highest good you declare you can ask god the universe your guides your angel thank you for helping me transmute you can you, literally you can bring in this healing light this beautiful light to come and cleanse your body there's so much you can do and when you go on your walk i want you to stop i want you to look at at some flowers or plants or trees literally take your hand i'm not joking touch the leaf and go, just go high leaf and just literally ground yourself touch it look at it observe it when you're there you're in the present moment see right now do you see i want you to look at this flower i want you to take a look if you were there i would say touch it say wow oh my god i want you to look at the beauty of it what is beautiful about this what is beautiful about this right now i love the color i love the texture it's gorgeous what a gift you know if you if you can smell it I want you to smell it. I want you to be it. When you practice that, this is anchoring mindfulness. This is connecting. This is remembering that you are not separated from this. You, if this is so beautiful, so are you. You are, you are, it, we are all connected from the same fabric showing up in different form. It, it's crazy. And it's okay if you don't understand that right now. That's okay. Yes, Mel Robbins. She's awesome. The movement is very good it's just hard but i know yeah it's hard and you get to choose you get to choose if you want to stay in hard or if you want to move away from that and if you don't if you want to stay in hard which there is no judgment at all ask yourself what is it that i'm afraid of letting go what am i afraid if i get better what is it that i fear when i get better because if you do something because there's a payoff at some point you are gaining something whether consciously or subconsciously there is a payoff there is something you're gaining out of it which is no judgment it's about being again the number one awareness become aware become aware of what is it that is happening in your mind knowing there's nothing wrong with either or right and then you get to choose from this awareness space you get to choose how you're moving forward I'm accepting that I'm called to this healing journey from the universe. Perfect. Feeling a re fearing a repeated cycle. Yes. Fearing a repeated cycle. So you're saying you're fearing a repeat. That's okay. So fearing a repeated cycle. So allow that part of you that's afraid to repeat a cycle to be to be there. And the part of you that feet that had that judged herself for having repeated the cycle, allow yourself to feel that the feeling of that fear. And then ask yourself, what do you choose now? Forgive yourself. There's another process that I teach, which is forgiveness. But that will be on a different lines as I'm going to have to get going shortly. Now, what's this value? If whatever I shared right now in the moment that you were here, if it was a value, please drop me an emoji in the comment. There's 12. There's a few of you here. Like, I don't want to repeat it. And you don't have to repeat it. You don't have to repeat a cycle. You get to choose. You don't have to repeat and it's okay if you ever were to repeat. There's nothing right and wrong. But what you are focusing on, what you focus on, you know, what where your where attention goes, energies flow. So I wanna invite you, thank you for the heart. I wanna invite you to not focus on what you don't want to happen. Rather, what is it that you do want to happen? Like what do you want to happen now that you know what you know? What do you want to happen? How do you wish to feel? What do you want? What do you want? I want to expand. I want to free myself. I want to feel 
peace and the moment of unpeace, uncertainty. I want to learn to navigate moving through the, the cycle of life and being, and being okay with the waves of emotion that are showing up. What do I want? There is nothing you cannot move through. I promise you that nothing, whether it's grief, whether it's depression, anxiety, sadness, expansion, resentment, a whole bunch of things that you haven't held or forgive. There's nothing you cannot move through. There's nothing. You can move through everything. Thank you. I want to continue flowing my healing journey expand. Yes. And, and I love that. And understanding that through this process, that doubts and uncertainties are going to come up. And it is normal. Could we normal feeling doubtful? Could we normalize that? That's the word. Can we normalize that every time you're going to move from wherever you are and take a step into something that's called that this little kid is going to come up? I have a video on my YouTube channel called The Imposter Syndrome, How to Use It. Please go watch it. I posted it two days ago is powerful i'm t i'm teaching something super valuable in that video on how because the imposter syndrome is going to come up it is going to show up every time you are about to do something else that is outside of what your norm is like hello my name is and this is what i do and that's how i live my life i guarantee the moment you take one step up you're gonna have other parts of you that are gonna get really activated and insecure and that is normal everyone has so everyone has that. What happens is if you navigate, if you learn how to navigate that, you, you, you can navigate through that. Yes, I want to release the constraint of self-doubt. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's okay. I doubted myself <laughs> my whole life and I still have doubts sometimes. I still have doubts. I still do. That's normal. That, but doubts, I still do. And the doubts, when it shows up, when when the doubt shows up oftentimes it's just a protector for my for me like it just wants me like it comes up because it loves me and it wants to protect me that's why the doubt comes so that in, so that i might continue to play small i might not show up as much so that in case something was to happen it's a protective mechanism for most of us that's what it is so number one understand that the only way that i have known like there is nothing i've never done that was like, here's, my name is Emily, I'm so confident and I'm doing it. No, everything, everything I've ever done. What I got my job as a flight attendant, I was so undoubtful of myself. Uh, when I got my job there to become a teacher there, I, I was teaching for two years. I was so lacking confidence. I just, when I became a service director, a leadership position within my company, I was like, I'm not a leader. Oh my God. I was like, I felt like a, fr a fraud to myself, but here I was doing it. Like there is my, my, there's nothing. When I launched my YouTube channel, it took me nine years. I was so afraid. If you go see my channel, the first video, I'm cry literally crying. You can see, you can see I was so afraid of showing up, so doubtful. So it's not about don't have doubt, but can you learn to embrace a part of you that is doubting? And can you be loving and compassionate through that process and still move forward? Yeah. Well, you feel it. You feel it as long as it wants to. Without attaching a story. You allow it as long as it wants you. But if you truly allow it and you truly allow it, it's not going to stay there for long because you're going to give it full permission to be felt. You see how sometimes we just want to be seen? You know, like when you're moving through something and you're so angry and you just need to vent and then there's a girlfriend or someone and you're like, you just tell everybody and then you're like, oh my God, I feel so much better. Oh my God, I feel, oh, I feel that's it. So think about that part of you that just wants all the way to be felt and expressed and seen and, and, and really be with you and then it moves. That's it. The emotions are divine, but they don't define me. Yes. Yeah, none of them. There's no emotions that defines you. None. None. If anything, if the only thing that I, I would say, but that's my own belief, the only thing that I would allow like myself to define myself by, that's me, love and light. Like I know light is not an emotion, but love is. And I just truly believe like one, two years ago, I was doing an exercise and 
it was like, who am I? And I, it, that was profound. And then when I really tuned in, what came out was I am love, I am light. And I bawled because I recognized that that's, 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 that's speak for myself. That's who I am, that I am love. Anything else is just like, it's just, that's it. Right. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Hello, beautiful. Hi, Marie V. Good to see you. Perfect. So I hope this was helpful. Love and passion. That's who I am. Yeah, that's it. Exactly. That's it. So own who you are if it serves you, but understand that you are the you are you are divine. You are you are amazing. You're amazing as you are, wherever you are, how you are. With and without that thing, there's that doesn't change anything. I the 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 the, the, the purpose there is really 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 to reconnect to that truth. That is a liberating truth for me. So thank you so much. If you're not following me, who is committing to go follow me on YouTube? Please drop a comment or an emoji. Who is committing to go follow me and to potentially who is uh, considering sharing? with a with a friend if you know one person that is that is into personal development transformation who's open for healing who could totally use my vibe this loving vibe who knows someone i'm calling for you if it doesn't resonate fine no problem but if it does thank you thank you for helping me thank you thank you for helping me reach thousands of people right now as i said i have 844 beautiful people on on uh, YouTube which I'm very grateful for and and I know there's more I know there's I know there's a lot more that could totally use this and uh, I I thank you for for your assistance thank you so much for showing up today it was super nice to have you I will be back for more pop-up coaching here I will share with my daughter thank you for sharing your life thank you and thank you Melly thank you Mama Sita and thank you for all of you that are here just know that you're so loved and cared and encouraged and I'm really encouraging you stay tuned uh, I'll come back again for more sending you so much love take care bye